If you saw tons of ambulances and fire trucks rushing towards Bozeman International Airport Saturday morning, don't worry, it wasn't a real emergency. It was their triennial full-scale aircraft accident exercise. Operations rescue. Rescue group operations. Today we're practicing a regional jet aircraft uh, having an accident here at the airport. A uh, number of uh, uh, fatalities and a number of uh, injured and uh, you know working through the process to handling all of that uh, if it were a real situation. Brian Springer is the chief executive officer at the Bozeman Yellowstone International Airport. He tells me about the triennial full-scale aircraft accident exercise they held Saturday morning. We're looking at about 200 uh, people involved in this uh, today. There was a large crew on scene. First responders included the airport fire department, mutual aid from Central Valley Fire Department, ambulances, and medical aid from Bozeman Health Deccanese Regional Medical Center. There were also 45 actors who volunteered as the injured and fatalities that first responders were able to practice life-saving procedures on. Springer tells me it's important for all those involved in the mock accident to have this opportunity to work together. Especially in a situation like this, no one entity can handle everything. It takes a, it takes a large group of people. The full-scale aircraft accident exercise occurs every three years. Springer tells me as each year goes by, new technology is introduced to the airport and first responders, so they have to stay up to date. With changes in communication ability, new radio systems and things like that, uh, it's really important for us to get the opportunity to use those. The full-scale aircraft accident exercise lasted from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Bozeman Yellowstone Airport and was a success. But Springer tells me, although they've been performing these mock accidents since around the 60s. Well, uh, every time we practice, uh, we learn new things about how we can do things better. In Belgrade, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.